I'm Josh Pierce with Dynamic Solutions. Today I'm going to be going over in a series of five different videos the five cycles of function and the five malfunctions that are correlating to the cycles of function. First, I'll go over what the cycles of function on a semi automatic pistol are. First is feeding, second is chambering, third is firing, fourth extracting, and fifth ejecting. So on the first one, you have failure to feed. And what a failure to feed is, commonly is human error. A lot of instructors actually skip over this drill because as long as you are consistent with making sure that that magazine is into the magwell and clicked in, you won't have this problem. However, what we've seen before, students will come out to the range and the magazine is not fully inserted into the magwell. So basically what happens is when they go ahead and pull the slide back, a round is not inserted into the chamber. So that slide is not picking up that round in the magazine, which is a failure to feed. So in order to correct that is the tap rack bang method. NRA calls it the tap rack assess now. With that being said, the tap rack bang is a jack of all trades, but a master of none. There are more effective ways of clearing malfunctions, but the tap rack bang will fix four out of five, all except the double feed, and we'll cover that later in another video. In order to fix failure to feed, all I'm going to do is tap the magazine, rack the slide, extend out, and squeeze the trigger, which is the assess or the bang part for tap rack bang. Thanks for watching. I'm Josh Pierce with Dynamic Solutions.